Hey, it's Mark again, RPM Tesla, Cybertruck owners, come check out our great Magback wireless charging mounts for your display in your Cybertruck. So in our, desk, uh, in our demo model right now, you can see we've got everything set up in here. We've got our retractable hidden one on the left, and on the right, we have the removable. We have two styles, and again, they're all magnetic Magback chargers. It'll work on an iPhone. It'll also work on non-iPhones because we include a metal ring if you happen to be an Android user. So let me show you really quick the overview. Now, uh, this sits in your car like this. Every time you get in, you touch it, plug it in, and it charges. It's that simple. When you don't want to see it, when you want a clean look, it's gone. The, movable, the removable one on this side is spring-loaded, so you just slide it on and off. So this is perfect for passengers. It's not permanent. You can take it on and off. You don't have to look at it when you don't have someone in your car that needs power. And again, this all gets wired in the glove box. We hide all the wires. It's super clean. Nothing to uh, connect except plugging it into the hub that we sell you for the glove box. Thanks again, RPM Tesla. That's the intro. Now we're going to show you details about both styles to see which one you prefer if not both. Okay, now we've got three options or two options. One of them is our corner mount. Again, you could put this on the passenger side or the driver's side. And this is a MagSafe charger in addition to being a cell phone holder. So many people have mounting uh, phone mounts for Tesla Model 3, Model Y on the displays, but ours are fast speed wireless chargers as well. So again, this is a great one. It fits on, you can take it on and off. It's never visible when you don't want it to be. You just take it off, put it in the glove box, keep it for your passengers. This is our number one high-speed MagSafe charger. This is the retractable and visible one that mounts right on any display. We're gonna show you today the full installation. We're gonna show you how to get power out of your glove box. And how are you gonna do that? With our cyber truck style which is for all Teslas, but this one is designed just for the Cybertruck. This is our Cybertruck charging hub, which allows you to put four different types of USB A and C mounts in here. It plugs inside the glove box. It gives us the power. We're gonna run it right behind. We're gonna show you how to do the clean, simple install. Now this one is awesome. It holds on with double-sided tape. It fits like this. So if I was on the driver's side, I would mount it like this and I would set the exact location so I can do horizontal viewing of my phone when I'm stopped somewhere, or you turn it, it locks, and this is vertical. So we're gonna show you more in detail, but that's how this works. It uh, is great, it's mag safe. Let me show you with a phone real quick that it actually charges your phone and it mounts your phone. So any mag safe iPhone, or if you even have uh, something that's not an iPhone, it uh, mounts it with a ring inside of it. So you have this kind of coverage on the driver's side. You push the button to rotate, it turns up here, and you can put your phone on here. So the most difficult thing is finding this ideal location in the back and peeling the tape off and sticking it on. Because you don't wanna be too high um, and you don't wanna be too low. So uh, again, this is a step-by-step -step installation. It'll probably take 10 minutes, but it's just critical that you have your phone, the one you're gonna mount, because different phones have different widths. And you don't wanna have to um, put it too close here, and then when you put it on a horizontal position where you wanna retract it. So again, this retracts in and out, but what we're gonna help you do is install it in the best location. We're gonna show you how to connect the wire to it, and then we're going to show you how to hide this wire. So again, we give you a USB-C, and it mounts right inside of the puck, the charging puck. And we put our name on here, and um, it's going to mount like this. So we're going to bring it down. So approximately like this is this position the, for horizontal viewing. This is for vertical. And this is when you want to get rid of it and not see it. So isn't that great? It completely hides. You can hide it there. You can push the button once it's mounted and rotate it like this. So it's out of the way, not visible. Get in your car, pop it up, put one on your driver's side for yourself, put one on the passenger side. And of course, with the yoke steering wheel, 
it's really nice the phone holds on here it doesn't impair your vision at all you can make it nice and flush like that so we're going to show you our method of putting tape here to mark it and again then this is horizontal and then this is out of the way isn't that great it's flat it's flush it's barely visible if you tint your windshield you'll never see it from outside the car and so what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to mount it and how to plug it in. The removable corner mount or the stick-on hidden mount. We're going to show you how to connect this to the USB-C inside your glove box. So everybody knows about sentry mode. Like right now our sentry mode's on. We're recording. We're going to open up our glove box and we're going to show you where it is. So inside of our glove box, let me move some stuff out of here. I've already got one in here. Now we're going to have one for the Cybertruck and we're going to have one for Model 3 and Model Y. So take a look deep inside. You'll see our great lights inside of here. Now these are our RGB lights that uh, change colors. We found locations in the glove box. We found um, a spot you can install one if you want to put a light in there and it changes you notice color. here now we've got this one we're making this blue white red so it's really cool you can leave it red if you want to use it at night. it won't dilate your eyes so the reflection inside shows you the color you can make it blink change color so this is all our interior light all of our lights have this in it we're going to leave this white during our installation and it comes with a remote control that's our lighting upgrade kit but again this is our expansion dock and uh, this is a charging hub. So inside of here, I'm gonna go inside and just unplug it. This is the hub. This is your sensory mode recording stick. So in your Cybertruck, when you drove away, this was plugged inside right in this slot right in here. All we're doing is plugging it in here and actually it's gonna plug on the end. You'll see when we come out with the Cybertruck version, but this is gonna go in the end and you're gonna have three or four extra ports and what can you do with this? You can get more power, which we're gonna to use to run our charger up there. You also can um, plug in a source for music, a thumb drive, because these are all compatible with power and data, okay? So now I'm gonna plug this in, and uh, I'm gonna plug this in right now just to show you exactly what's going on. And then we're gonna do the installation and show you the wire. So this wire is a USB-C. You're gonna plug this in here. And as soon as you have power, you're gonna notice our sentry mode's gonna come back. So right now I'm lining it up and it's a little hard to get a camera in there with two hands. So we're gonna plug this in real quick. The glove box is not deep, but you also can move it around a little bit to get your hand inside. And it's not easy to get this light changed. real-time installation there okay so basically I took this and slid it in to the USB-A slot so now notice we have power on here red indicator light our sentry mode is recording so we are done with that part of the installation the only thing we have to do now is find the ideal spot so if you do buy the corner mount watch this just hook it up with the spring-loaded mount like this slide it on like this hook it on and you're done and hook the power up to it like this so again I should have done this first so this is our power and we're gonna put it on like this so this is a big seller everyone likes it this one turns green telling you all conditions are good and then red so now I put it on like this and leave it there and hook up your phone so you can see the phone's working and I can rotate it around for horizontal viewing. So this is a great one. Again, passengers love this. Um, and then you can put it over here. And then when you're not in the car, you can just simply remove it. So you slide it forward and up and you just take it out. So again, this is a great quarter mount corner and it charges fast, 15 watts, much faster than these ports down here in your center console. Um, Okay, so that's easy. So what's left after you do that? It's the wire. So we're gonna show you how to tuck the wire in and how to run the wire down here and behind and how to come up. Now in our Cybertruck, we've got this great rubberized tray. Now this tray is real nice. It fits behind the here. 
You could put your toll road pass indicator in there. It's a silicone rubber piece, but it's not required for this installation. So we're gonna discard it. So anyway, let's show you the simple installation and we'll start with this one. Now, since you can turn this one, you can position the USB-C anywhere you want. You can put it up on top, you can put it all the way around to get the wire out of the way. Then we're gonna put the wire underneath the dash. So we're gonna show you some techniques. We're gonna move over here with the camera so we can give you this whole side over here so you'll know exactly what it's gonna look like. Okay, so let's get down inside the glove box. So there's the wire, it's coming out like this. Now this platform moves back and forth and the hub sits there like that. So if you can see in there, it's not going anywhere. Um, and now what we're gonna do is put the wire underneath. So the dashboard area snaps in. So let's close it. So I'm gonna close it like that. Tap to open, tap to close. And we're gonna show you how to pop the dashboard. So look at this, this is our solid dashboard. And uh, you can unsnap it like this. If you ever wanna loosen it or take it off, we're actually making a full carbon fiber piece uh, overlay for this and this. But at this point, now we're gonna take the wire that's coming out of the glove box. One more time. There's the wire coming out. And we're gonna go off to the side with it like this. And we're gonna hide it up inside. So we're gonna leave a little bit of slack so it can move. So about an inch or two. And now we're gonna put this wire underneath here. And um, you can see from a real low angle, but there's tabs, these long tabs. Once the wire's over that, it's fine. It's great. It's out of the way. Okay, now the wire is secured in here. Before we snap it in place, we're gonna show you a little trick. Take the wire and feed it up inside here. You don't need this much slack. So we're gonna store the wire in the dash, right behind it, and then we're gonna feed it up the side. So we're putting it up in here, and then we're gonna take the wire, and you don't wanna make it too short or too long. So we're gonna assume we're installing this on the driver's side, because that's where everyone's gonna put it. So we're gonna put this on the driver's side. Okay, now uh, we've got everything set and we're gonna snap the dashboard back together. Again, it just snaps right in. Just make sure you're lined up. And this wire here uh, that comes out of the glove box, we recommend you put it up inside. So see, the wire is actually completely gone. It does come around this corner, but it's a very, very clean installation because we're going to push it between this crack. So it's a little hard to show what I'm referring to, but the glove box and this panel here meet up here. So we're just gonna set it right up underneath like this, make sure it's long enough, and then we're gonna snap all this back together. And it all locks in easy. Now we're gonna close the glove box, and again, make sure all these pieces are snapping good, and now we're gonna come back behind. Okay, now the best way to hide this wire from being visible near the arm is to pull it out a little bit and push it like that. By bending it inside, you're able to get it up and over the top edge of the arm. So see that? We've got a perfectly clean install here. It's not visible. And now we can reach it like this and push it all the way down. So that's great. This whole area is clear as can be, and you can't see any signs of wires. And all we're doing is tucking it in the back. Okay, let's go back to the other side real quick. of um, material to get rid of. So again, the same thing. Once you know how much you want visible, you're going to put the rest of it here and then tuck it right behind. See, so this is just disappearing. Isn't that great? So it's nice that this vinyl dashboard uh, top piece Tesla has designed has lots of room in it and a gap in it. So now our wire is done. It's ready to go. You can simply unplug it like this if you elect this one and slide it off, just like that. And um, the wire is just sitting back here. So that is the temporary location. Then you can always take it out, plug it back in, and all of a sudden you've got 15 watts of power ready to quickly charge your phone, whether it's mounted vertical or horizontal. And again, this one rotates and clicks. So you can do that, you can rotate this. Get this out of the way if you know you're sitting at a supercharger and you want to watch a game or something it sits just like this it's generation one and this is generation two generation one was a little thicker and it 
actually flexed backwards like this. So it was a really good design. We sold about 3,000 of them and it would hide like this. But when you put a heavy phone on it, it had a tendency to move. So again, this is sold for the Model 3 and the Model Y. But this is our Gen 2 and this has got real 3M tape. You're gonna mount it and stick it just like this. It's gonna lock. I'm pushing the button in the back to rotate, to turn, and to get it completely out of the way. It's gonna hide right behind like this. So again, you can hide it there and you can hide it over here, whatever you choose. Okay, so now we're gonna show you the next step, the final step into mounting this in the ideal location for your iPhone or your smartphone. And remember, if you do have a Android phone, you will get the metal ring that's included. Um, so you're gonna get a mounting piece and a metal ring. So if you have a case for your Android phone and you know the location of the Qi charger, you still can use this ring in the charger and it'll stick right here. And also this is another piece we give you as an option in case you want to install this piece of uh, clear film on the back so you don't actually mount this to the display. So again, we like to use this as a guide to finding the ideal location. But once you get it where you want it, it's gonna be perfect right here. It's gonna go down all the way, it's gonna hide, it's gonna go over, horizontal viewing, and again, the discrete hidden location. All right, I'm gonna to switch to the driver's seat and we're gonna install this generation two in the ideal location for the driver's primary uh, viewing of your One phone. is X axis and Y axis, and you can't determine that if you don't plug it in first. So if you're gonna use this, as a way to drain your iPhone and not plug it in to the 15 watts, then just stick it on, don't worry about it. If you want power, we're gonna plug it in and we're using the right angle side of our USB-A, our 90 degree angle, and we're gonna plug it right in like this. Now, you realize now that you have to find the ideal spot. So there's two accesses and we're gonna use a little piece of blue tape, two pieces. And that way we're gonna nail down the perfect location based on your phone. And it's your phone size. So it's the width of your phone that uh, determines this and that's why it varies from phone to phone or phone carrier. So first of all is height, okay? So you take your phone, move it over to the middle so you don't get confused and put it on like this, okay? Now you can, you can retract this up and down but let's push it all the way down like this and uh, find the perfect height. Now I've got it. So that's the lowest I want this mount to be. I don't want to make it any lower because then I'm going to have to move it up. Okay, so you have this much room and you want to find the lower part. Now I'm going to go on the back here and I'm going to put this piece of tape behind it. Go ahead. And we're going to mark this on the bottom. So maybe uh, you can help me, Mr. Cameraman. So we're going to mark this way over here. So I'm gonna tape, I'm gonna tape the phone in place. Here, come back on this side. This is a good idea. So we're gonna tape our phone in place so we know when we're doing this ourselves where to put it. Now on the back side, you can see the puck, right? So on this side, you wanna run this piece of tape below it because we're setting up this height here. So does that look level? Then we gotta adjust it. And uh, again, you have to Get behind here a little bit. How does that look? Does that look straight across, cameraman? Pretty good? Okay. So now, just so everyone understands what we're doing, we're trying to determine where to put this. We know it can go in the middle, but then I can never turn my phone horizontal. So now I've got it up here. I've got it still under the blue tape, so it hasn't moved. I'm going to take the phone off, and now we're going to rotate it. So we're going to go... Um, tilt it to the side all the way like this bring it out a little bit so it'll turn like this now uh, looking on the back I want to make sure that I'm still on the blue line and now we're determining where to put it horizontally so this mount over here take a look um, there is a choice it could go there or it could go here 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 okay so it's the width and the height that we're trying to nail down. So let's look on the back again. And if I'm still on the blue line, I'm gonna put a piece of tape right here. So this will tell me exactly where to put it, right? 
So I'm gonna put a piece of blue tape right here and run it vertical. Does that look pretty good? Or is it a little bit off? Okay. Again, I would be climbing back there if I wasn't trying to hold the phone. So maybe William could do it with his other hand. This is good? All right. Okay, so now what we should have is a square right there. And that's where we're going to mount this. Okay, so before we mount it, we need to clean it. Again, rubbing alcohol. This is the only way to get oil, grease, and dirt off. Hopefully we give you a couple of packets in here. Otherwise, uh, you might have to get a little bit out of your bathroom. But see this right here? This is isopropanol, rubbing alcohol. Cleaning it up good. And now the puck. So we're going to peel off the VHB tape. This is VHB 3M tape called Very High Bonding Tape. And you pick the corner. It's very strong. And uh, if you ever want to take this off, you just have to get it very hot in the heat. And you can see that the super crazy adhesive strong tape. Now, you have to get behind the yoke for this because you don't want to get it wrong. And you see we have this line here going up and down and we have this location. So I'm gonna put it down gently and I'm gonna go all the way down a little bit lower and then I'm gonna put it on just with a little bit of pressure but I'm not going to push it on all the way. So this is the RPM button. We push it in and we turn it. So that looks good. I have room to go up and down. And I have room to put it over here. If I push the button in. And I have room to hide it behind the back. So this is a perfect installation. Again, um, you have to push the release button to rotate it. It cannot move backwards. And now we are done. So now I'm going to apply pressure here. So pressure sensitive adhesive, this tape backing liner, once it comes off, it sticks to anything as long as it's not wet. So I'm applying some pressure to my screen and now I've got the extra slack like we mentioned earlier. You can get rid of that. So you got a really clean installation. You can see here from the front um, that this is the actual unit we've been selling now. For $35 for the 3 and the Y. And now it's the same unit available and it comes with the charging port adapter. So again, when you order this off our website, you're going to get the option to buy these two pieces together or these two. The corner mount with the port adapter for your glove box or this or maybe no port mount. Maybe you already have a charging adapter, but this is really a cool one because it has a Cybertruck style. So you'll be able to buy this alone, this alone, or add on this so you can plug in your um, your sir, your Sentry Mode stick in here. Okay, that's it. It's done. Now we'll show you the final results. We uh, slap the phone on every time you get in and out of the car. You can make it tighter. Look at that. Look how tight it is. You can pull it away. And you can have your phone there. You can pull it tight so it won't even vibrate. You lift your phone off. You pull it up. You release the button on the back. You have horizontal viewing. You put your phone on here. You, you can pull it down. And it's going to sit nice and flush. It's great. It's called Eyes on the Road. We've sold thousands of these for the Model Y. It's much safer. It charges faster. It opens up your ports down here it's for someone else to use and your eyes are up high. If you hear your phone and you look down at it and you're not using your message app on your uh, Cybertruck and you look down, your eyes are not on the road. So it's very safe, it's smart, fast charging, Qi, wireless charging. And the best part, after you take the tape off, is that when you don't want to use it, it's gone, out of the way. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is for the Cybertruck exclusive listing. Same great new product. Thousands have been sold. We have the option to add the port charger, which also splits it up into four nice areas, all with data, all with power. So you can charge anything in there. So an else's phone, or you could have, like we said earlier, a thumb drive or a drive with millions of songs. It'll automatically come up right in your display. 
or your music setup. Thanks again for watching RPM Tesla, another great, great cyber truck product that's efficient. Look at this, every time I get in the truck, I just hit, hit it, slide it around, and it's here. There's my phone mount, and stick it right on, and it's gonna high speed wirelessly charge. No interference here. Um, you can try lower heights. You know, you can set it here, here. Uh, I like this height, which is great, because the phone is 50% uh, below my yoke and 50% um, above. So there's no issues looking out the window on the road. All right, there's a couple of new items for us, and uh, we've got more coming soon. Full carbon fiber interiors, armrest, display covers, center console. We're making a dashboard. We're making door panels. We're really gonna sport it up, sporting up the Cybertruck look, dress up the Cybertruck, um, and uh, isn't that great? no issues no visibility and uh it looks awesome and it hides when you don't want it so again buy one for the right side buy one for the other side and uh no issues hide it put it in the glove box run a second wire high speed ch wireless charging up high not low head up eyes on the road thanks again it's mark and uh we appreciate you watching and coming here to youtube we have a lot of early releases on here and uh, we're starting our 13th year in business with over a thousand accessories no nonsense restocking fees at rpm lifetime warranties sell a good product people don't send it back and you don't have to give back or hide or keep any of their money by charging a restocking fee it's ridiculous don't buy from anyone that charges restocking fees thank you very much for watching all or reinstall our silicone rubber tray this is great for hiding your toll road passes anything you might want to keep up front sunglasses and uh, just slide it back in like this make sure the wire is out out of the way and push this right back in again it doesn't obstruct the airflow at all because it sits between the vents on both sides this is a great product we've sold lots of them and uh, you can throw anything in here you want it's not going to slide around or fall out and in terms of cleanness or cleanliness for the install, what do you guys think? All you have showing is this little wire behind here, which is not visible. Nothing here, nothing here. Open up your glove box. Everything is clean, free, simple. No wires showing. Everything's hidden. And uh, another great product, extremely useful for 99% of uh, Cybertruck owners because we're all using smartphone. Thank you. And uh, let's button it up.